Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing session. We'll be covering the process of how to create a purchase order from a sales order document. This is a very unique and useful feature within Sage Trend Evolution. As it allows you to create a purchase order specific to the line items and quantities on a pre-processed sales order. Let's see exactly this process unfolds. First of all, I'm going to go through to order entry transactions, and I'm going to go through to our sales order and process a sales order for certain stock items. Right, so I've got my sales order screen. I'm going to simply go and specify my customer and then the line items that the customer is going to has ordered. So Let's just specify some stock items. Right, so I've got my three line items and the quantities. And what you notice is that for these particular stock items, the quantity available is currently on zero, which means is that the order has been placed by the customer. However, the order can't currently be fulfilled simply because there aren't enough quantities available to meet the requirements of the customer. So I would then need to once the order has been placed, I then need to go and process a purchase order from my supplier to bring these items into stock and therefore be able to fulfill the sales order. Right, so I've got my details there. I've got my sales order number. And now I can simply go and process or place the order. Right, so the order has been placed and I'm going to close the screen for the meantime. Right, so at this point in time, I'd need to now process a purchase order in order for me to receive quantities of those items. I'm going to revert back to my order entry transactions, sales order. And I'm going to now open the screen and locate the sales order that I've just processed. So I'm going to set unprocessed sales orders, specify the transaction date, and then just the customer who placed the order. Find. And there we have our unprocessed sales order. And what you notice is in the top portion of the screen, we've got an option that says create purchase orders. I'm going to use that feature to create a purchase order specifically with the details from the processed sales order. Right, highlighted the sales order, click on create purchase order. And we have our sales order. It's going to expand the sales order information. And we have our three line items replaced on the sales order. Now it's simply a case of specifying which supplier am I going to order those items from. So on the supplier dropdown, I can then specify the supplier. And second line item. And what you'll see here is that we're allocating a supplier per line item in the sales order. And it's very probable or certainly can happen that um, there may be multiple suppliers that you're ordering from. So you could have multiple suppliers on these particular line items. So let's just, on our third line item, I'm now going to select a different supplier. Right, so lines one and two, we're ordering from the same supplier. However, the third line item is from a different supplier. And now it's a case of, we can just validate the options we've entered. 
but no errors. And I'm now simply going to say post the batch. So notice the order number, and we've got our two different suppliers. Post the batch. Update the batch. And the orders have been successfully placed. Right, so let's just go see what has unfolded after we've created the purchase order from the sales order. So I'm going to close this option and I'm going to go into my purchase order screen. So order entry transactions, purchase order. Click on open. and unprocessed purchase orders. And let's just go firstly to our first supplier. Find, and what you see there, we've got a purchase order number 16, which is currently set to unprocessed. I'm going to go into the line out of the order, and what you see there is we have our supplier and the two line items which we linked when we created the PO from the sales order. So there's my two line items. And now it's a case of awaiting delivery by the supplier. Once the items are received, process a GRV supply invoice to bring those items into stock. And then we can go and complete the unprocessed sales order. So there's our two line items. I'm going to go back into open. And I'm going to go locate the other stock or the, the other unprocessed PO. So yeah. find unprocessed purchase order. Notice it's order number 17. And there we have line item number three, which we ordered from our other supplier, which is now has been converted to an unprocessed purchase order, once again, awaiting delivery by the supplier. And we can then process a GOV supply invoice, complete the transaction, and we would then have those three line items from the two separate purchase orders in our stock. And we can then at that point go and complete or fulfill the unprocessed purchase order. So as you can see, a really quick easy and efficient way of converting or creating a purchase order from a sales order. And the purchase order is going to be specific to the line items that were generated from the sales order. I do hope you've enjoyed our presentation today. Thank you for tuning in. It's over and out for me and goodbye.